What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Build Tune Race. Today we are working on Salty. A lot more busy work again today. While it's windy outside and all the weather's blown in, we're going to be working on smoothing out the engine bay. I've already welded up some holes, ground some other ones to start welding those. Uh, as well as over here, we're just going to start smoothing out all the little holes in the engine bay. So then when we go to paint it, we have a nice smooth surface to paint and everything can look real nice in this engine bay. So we're going to go ahead and start with that. Then I think we're going to work, move on to welding up that trans tunnel cover that we had that I worked on in the last video and uh, just trying to grind out all this stuff out of it. So a lot of just little busy work that adds up to a ton of hours to build a car like this, but that's what we're here to do. And that's what we're going to work on today. Well, trying to start removing the shock mounts for what the hood, these would go up and hold the hood and it's a pretty thick piece of material. Just grinding away at them. You can see the little stop, spot weld right there starting to tear. Trying not to get into the base metal. And uh, we'll just keep working them off. There's one down here in this corner that's going to be a real pain. But, you know, try to get them out, smooth them up, make it look nice. It's getting there. Starting to tear the metal. We're almost there. They definitely don't design these to come off. So here's where we're at. That's the little piece left. That's what the shock tire looks like. And there's there's some of the other pieces I got off in chunks. So now it'll be time to just take the flap disc, clean that up, and then work on that side. So something cool when you're grinding and removing these things, you can see I already got one pop. There's another one there. You can see the outline of the third one right there. So if you hammer these up or kind of stress the metal around it and then beat it back down, then you can kind of see where it's at. So you can keep grinding so you know you're, where you're grinding is right on the spot weld. So. It's definitely a little tip that helps out when trying to remove pieces of metal like this. And there it is, part removed and a bunch of weld spots still to be ground. So it didn't get any base material, which is perfect. Just need some more grinding and smoothing. Been working on getting all of the tunnel fit, trying to weld it around there and then work the metal in each spot as I go. It's coming along, I'll end up kind of grinding, cleaning all that up, and then putting some like black epoxy stuff around it. That's what I did on Clyde that helps seal it. Also take the tinniness out of it uh, and keeps it like watertight. I decided to take a small break though from welding and hung the original radiator back in this. Usually it used to sit straight up with like the stand up radiator mod on Camaros. Uh, I'm just seeing what if I put fans outside, inside, I'm thinking inside's gonna be fine. And then this would allow this to come out a little bit. Uh, I might go with a slightly narrower radiator so it fits between here and here a little bit better. And then we'll set it up in there kind of like that. But mostly why I'm doing this is so I can measure out and see how much room I have because I've been looking at air to water intercoolers to go in here. And I'd like to put one in the center, the twins out to the side and uh, see what happens there. But I gotta make sure it can fit before I order it. Like the intercooler is almost like $3,000. It's like. 2300 for the 2000 horsepower model and like 2700 or 800 for the 3000 horsepower model. So I'm thinking uh, it'd probably be better to have a little extra cooler if I can fit it. If not, I'll have to go with a little bit smaller one. I'm just trying to get an idea and make sure that I can fit it uh, or fit something in there that I'm thinking because really the radiator is what could mess that up. So I've been working on cleaning up this hole here, getting everything kind of cleaned up straight now. I had to weld up some spots over there where I'd cut through. This is like the fuel tank uh, access hole or whatever the trap door they'll call it. So trying to weld this back up and then I'll recoat it since there's no fuel tank down there anymore. Well guys, it's been a little while since I've shot a clip since the last one. I've came over to the shop a handful of times, maybe two, three times. What's going on everybody? So I'm back over at the shop. I actually came over here a few other times trying to just weld up all the little pieces and grind and weld and grind and weld all over the car. Little, little cut throughs of the floor but then you have to weld up and grind up. It takes an hour and it really doesn't show anything, but other than a bunch of work in here, that's just a bunch of welding and grinding, trying to get the interior more or less prepped to be able to spray something inside of it. Uh, I still got some quite a bit of work to do, but I had a bunch of little cut throughs over here that I kind of had to weld up and I still got to grind some there over there as well. I had to weld up some holes, got rid of all this interior stuff here. And then uh, you can see there's stuff that's like rough and everything else that will need to come in and smooth out. But otherwise now I'm moving on to welding up the, where the trap door was. As you can see, I've been grinding and cleaning all of that stuff. 
And I went ahead and got a piece of sheet metal here that I'm gonna cut here and then bend it. Or I'm gonna cut here, and then I'm gonna bend it on this line so this little lip is the transfer over right there for that little lip. So then I can weld it up. And then once I get all that welded up and kind of cleaned up, then in a sense the interior is done other than maybe we might take a little body filler and kind of sand it and smooth some of the real rough areas. Um, but otherwise all the metal work will be kind of done inside the interior of the car. So I can start moving on to other things. It's been an insane amount of just a little bit of work here, a little bit of work there, an hour here, an hour there, 30 minutes there. Uh, just adds up when you're building something like this, but that's what I've been working on a bunch. Uh, and I've also been ordering parts, so getting even more of that stuff coming. So hopefully once the interior is done, and then I've also been working on cleaning up some of the engine bay stuff. Uh, once we get kind of all that cleaned up and painted, then the car will actually start coming together and it'll actually feel like we're making some progress. I haven't shot a lot of video on it because it's a ton of hours just working on stuff that really doesn't show anything other than really minute amounts of progress, I guess you could say. So otherwise that's what I'm here today is try to finish up most of that stuff. So then I can hopefully start moving on to putting the car together. I don't have a sheet metal brake. So I went ahead and took this bar, clamped it down and then took the metal and bent it over the edge. So then hopefully we can line up with that angle and uh, see what it looks like. And honestly, not too bad. Can go up there, work that with the hammer a little bit. Cause this is not very smooth. It touches here, has a gap here, touches there. This is just kind of beat up from where I originally cut it. It's a little bit of smoothing of that. Put this panel like this, weld it up. It will seam seal over all the welds. Weld all that in down there, up across there. And then we'll be smoothed back in. And then I can, uh, once it's welded, kind of coat it and sand it. And then when it's welded all in there, you shouldn't even really be able to tell much of a difference. So getting it welded in, we're getting there just welding up little spots each time and then letting it cool. But otherwise we're making some progress on it. I started off with TIG welding a few of the spots like that one but it just puts so much heat into the material that you can actually get a little bit cooler. You're gonna end up sanding it. And uh, this is way faster anyway. If I had some smaller wire and really turn the machine down, I could probably do all that in TIG for sure, but uh, it's just a little bit quicker, more efficient way. If you got a little MIG welder, I just got one of the little, little Lincolns that works pretty good for stuff like this. Plus some of this stuck material in the bodies of cars is pretty gross. And if you're TIG welding, it'll like open up and uh, kind of give you frosting, kind of nasty stuff like that too. So. This is what I've chosen to do for this situation. Now it's in there, there. Got it welded up back here. Now I just gotta go around and grind the whole thing. And then we should be looking pretty good for as far as welding up any of the metal in the car. I do have this whole still where the chassis went through. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do there. So I really don't wanna weld metal and then weld to the bar because then you end up with like a weld and a weld and then a weld on the bar and then weld that far up on the tube itself. So I might try to look for some sort of a grommet that would go in there and hopefully seal up to the uh, chassis right there. And then for any reason or whatever, you gotta get to the bars or whatever, you can just pop that grommet and get to the chassis bars there. Kind of that's the only real point where it goes through the chassis and under the car. But otherwise, we're making some progress. Like I said, guys, it's a lot, a lot of work. I spent the whole day putting in that panel, grinding and cleaning and all that stuff. Uh, went and got some more materials, some more parts showed up. But that's what it's going to take to get this thing to where I need it to be. So hopefully in the next few videos, we can finish that up, paint the interior of the car. I also got these sweet little brackets from Joey Berry. This is the Dominator mount. It's going to go somewhere up in here like this to help to hang the Dominator below. I also have the EGT module and the race pack this one is for the smart wire and then this is for the egt module so everything can be mounted up under the dash once those are welded on we'll need those on there as well before we go painting the inside of the car so that's where we're at i have too much crap in the shop it's everywhere it's a big old mess but we're making progress so that's all i care about february is going to be here before we know it i'm already starting to feel the pressure so I got to get on this thing more and more often and be working on this thing even more here coming up. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. More to come on everything that's going on. So hit that subscribe button. Give it a like so we can reach new people. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.